Welcome to NFI Online Tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to learn about animations. So I have made three animation screen, which is box animation, tank animation, and door animation. Now we are using a software named Factory IO to depict the real environment. And we are going to extract information from this real environment in our HMI screen. So in this video, we'll just see the example, what I'm going to present to you and what you are going to learn in the next videos. So starting with the box animation. So once I click on this button, I have the screen. Now this box animation is going to represent this um, elements here. So we have conveyor and we have a box. So if you see closely what we have here, we have a capacitive sensor. All right. And this is an analog sensor. This is going to give me value from zero to 10 volts. All right. Based on the distance between the sensor and the box. Okay, so we are going to animate this one in our HMI screen. So what happens? All right, so I have this button here, which will move my conveyor in one direction and this button to another direction. So if I click this one, you will notice this conveyor is running and the range of the sensor is zero to 10 volts. So I will only able to animate the box in the range of 0 to 10 volts. So if you notice this 10.0, this is actually the value coming from here, 10.0. So let's see that. So you can see when the value changes here, this changes here and the box starts moving. All right. So this is how you can move the box. And when I press the other button, this will go away. And you will find the box will keep moving away in this environment, but not in the simulation because the sensor range is limited. If we would have the sensor range up to up to zero to or maybe more distance. Yeah, then we can animate the box here as well. So this is actually depicting the distance between the sensor and the box. I hope this makes sense, right? So this is the first example we will see in the forthcoming lessons. So now let's go back to home and let's see the tank animation. So in this environment, we have this tank. And in this tank simulation, we have tank fill valve. And this is tank level meter. And we have a discharge valve. And here you can see this is a tank with a level level measuring device, right? So let's see how we can simulate that in our HMI. So this is the tank. And this is the level and here I have made a um, filling valve and that's my discharge valve. All right. So this is the value, which is actually the voltage, which we are giving to the valve for on and off operation. So this is a kind of proportional valve in which the zero volt means the valve is off. The 10 volt means the valve is on and which is hundred percent on. And if I give five volt, this valve is 50 percent on or 50% open. All right. So let's give some value. So this is my numeric input field. If I click on that, I have this keypad. Now if I put 2.0 and press enter, you can see the valve is start the valve is open and starts filling. And this is the representation of the real environment. The tank level is here, you can see on the scale and the tank level is here. So you will notice if the valve is 2.0, we have this orange. If I make it five, we have this orange, which indicates valve is open. And this, this pipe is showing more liquid. If I make it 10, you can see this is fully open. All right. If I make it zero, this will be closed and you will see there is no flowing. So we're going to see how we can represent how we, how to make a logic to represent the actual environment in the HMI. Similarly here, if I, if I make it 10, this is going to drain it and this is going to turn it off. All right. So this was the door animation, the tank animation, sorry. And let's see the third type. We have a door animation. In this example, we are going to see how to animate the door. So we have two buttons. This is for turning up, turning up the door. This is moving down the door. So when I press this button, you will see the door starts opening and you can see the motor is running. All right. In one direction. If I press this button, the motor is running in another direction and the, the door is coming down. 
So these are the three examples which we are going to see in the forthcoming lesson how to make a PLC logic and how to link that to the HMI. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video.